Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Sport, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This is a 3 litre SD V6 HSE Dynamic. It's 2020 on the 20 plate, has done 13,217 miles, two registered owners from new, fuel economy, urban, 35.8 miles per gallon, extra urban, 44.1 miles per gallon, and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon has a 0 60 time of 6.8 seconds, a top speed of 140 miles per hour out of a 302 brake horsepower 6 cylinder 24 valve engine. Yeah, it's magic. High pressure headlamp wash, black grill, black badges, black grills in the bonnet and the, the wings. Your front parking sensors in this panel here. And uh, these, uh, or, or the, they remind me of Iron Man's helmet. Could be just me. Five split spoke, 22 inch alloy wheels with the uh, Pirelli Scorpion is on. Um, we've got power folding door mirrors, keyless entry, keyless go full glass panoramic sunroof inside. We've got side steps, the door and sill protectors there, rear privacy glass, the integrated rear tailgate spoiler, wipers up here. Um, also there's kind of little vents there. I'm, I'm assuming that's designed to keep the back window clear. Your reversing camera there, power open, power closed tailgate, nice flat loading area in the back there with the roller blind. Got a spare wheel in there, not uh, an inflation kit. Okay, and the reversing sensors in the back bumper and the twin kind of aluminium, brushed aluminium exhaust tips. Absolutely mint in the back here. Perforated leather. The leather looks really supple and, and beautiful. Got a rear centre armrest. Two cup holders and a, a little net there. It's got these magazine flaps at the back, which I prefer to the nets because the nets, people always end up sticking bottles in them and then they go all saggy and horrible. Um, so that, that's really nice. Um, the, the twin stitching around the seat, it, it really is lovely. We've got Meridian sound system, which I'll, I'll play for you later, which, which is, again, if you like music, it, it's fantastic. But car's just lovely. The outer seats are heated. There's two 5-volt USB charging sockets there. You've also got a power socket. Uh, your own vents at the back here. All really well, really well made, really well manufactured and designed. And, and everything, everything's matching. Little... Brushed aluminium trim around the speakers, the door handle, the window switch, the unlock switch. I'll just take you for riding it. So that's the new Range Rover key. Foot on the brake, start the vehicle and then tuck this somewhere. Now it used to, oh, it still does fit nicely there. So that's all right. Car's going in for a service to uh, Land Rover tomorrow. How much am I looking forward to driving this car? Um, well, I had my uh, COVID booster jab yesterday and I felt all right up until about three o'clock this morning when I woke up <laughs> freezing cold and shivering and aching in every part of my body, <laughs> all my old football injuries and so on and breaks <laughs> killing um, and I don't I don't I honestly don't think there's another car that I'd have, I'd have thought yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up in the freezing cold <laughs> on the fells and, and video it but this is a 20 place Range Rover I've never driven one before uh, it does have the new uh, center console and, and the controls here which 
Um, anybody who watches the videos will know that I like buttons and, and switches that click. And before I always thought that the Range Rover design team were probably a bunch of farmers with hands like mine who, who wore gloves and needed to switch things on with the gloves. Like, like that guy out there. See that guy out there with his, with his dog on, the, on, his, uh, on his quad bike. That, that's who, uh, rounding the sheep up, that's, that's who I thought designed these. Um, it, re it looks really nice. It does. It, 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 you know, there's, there's no denying it. It looks fantastic. But um, I, I'm just, I just prefer the old, the old style buttons. Um, right. We've also got, which is the best thing, they should do away with all this. All this audio equipment, they should keep the Meridian speakers because they're brilliant. But here we go. If I plug my phone in here, there you go. It's uh, Apple CarPlay. That, that's the best thing. Just uses your phone. You can then talk to your phone, use Siri to uh, ask it to play anything or take you somewhere. And, and it, that mirrors your phone. It's got everything. Spotify, WhatsApp, you can send te texts. It, just by voice it reads text to you so you don't have to do anything you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel or anything like that I mean that looks pretty good in all fairness there's the stop start off um, of course you've got settings it brings different stuff up your screen your heated seats heated seats also that's switched on here if uh, sorry if you press the outside circle in that's the temperature control press it again and you can move the seat but uh, get it back on quick on the dash you can choose what you have in the center again that's from the menu button here um, info panel layout units display trip counter let's have a look driver assistance that's your sound show warnings, passenger airbag, let's have a look, trip the content that uh, we want. I want to go back to the, let's just go back and leave it alone for it to, see that, that's touch as well. You know, I'm I'm clicking it, but you can move it with your finger like that. It's like like a a mouse pad. It great it grates on every fibre in my body <laughs> to to have a mouse pad in a car. It's you know, I mean, the suspension in in this is absolutely fantastic, but <laughs> red. Red Setter is an un unusual sheepdog. You know, if you're using that as a mouse pad, and you're going along these bumps, you're gonna you're gonna be switching all sorts off. If there was an ejector seat, a passenger ejector seat, you know, you'd they'd be away. This I, I'm driving it up here. Every time I get in the the newer shape or the updated Range Rovers, I think they can't. They can't improve them anymore. You know they're, they're they're as good as it can get, and then they do. For it, here, that there, it rattles you to pieces in a normal car. It's really really bad, but you know no no problems, absolute no problems. Good clear display commanding position, commanding view of the road. We've got heated front screen, that's there. That's on the, the main display, you don't have to find anything. I was in a car a few weeks ago and you know, you, you, you had to go into the display and, and find a certain display to, like you do with the seats there, to get your heated front screen. And Well, it didn't have a heated front screen, your heated rear screen. and. Um, just too complicated. We've got cruise control here. I'll wait till we straighten the wheels up. 
So there we go, if that was a cattle grid, click set, that's it. One touch, cruise control, absolutely brilliant. I'll just tap the brake there, knock it off. Um, three position memory, electric memory seats for the driver and passenger. Seats are very, very comfortable. Big front central armrest, adjustable front centre armrest as well for the driver and passenger. Let's just get around this corner before I start messing around with switches. Click that again, it's another... I, I, I don't... <laughs> These are... These are all things that, when they're switched off, they're just covered in fingerprints. You know, if you if you were a germaphobe, you'd never get in the car. But uh, it's just, it's really, really nice. Let's just click back there. There you go, you've got your Apple, or your Google Maps and Apple Maps, whatever. That's what's playing on the audio, the Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, got Bluetooth hands-free, obviously, as well. Just try and think of uh, something else. These give these Meridian speakers a, a test. Certain death corner. We'll just wait till we get round here. to take off. Whoa, go up, miss. <laughs> this must be a roadrunner. I bet there's a, a coyote after him. Come on. That's it. We're away. No pheasants were harmed during the making of this video. The, the torque on this thing just fires it up the hills. We've got paddle shift on the steering wheel there, up and down, down on the left, up on the right. You can knock the gear selector over there, change down like so and up. Oh, also, right, again, it, a little bit too complicated really. That, when that's down, it's in auto. If I click it up, it brings up this screen and then the, the kind of two lanes going into the distance. If I click that, the dashboard goes red and it's dynamic program selected. It uh, sets off like a scalded cat. Wow, these are good. I'm just going to put it back in normal. I don't need it in dynamic. It's also got auto terrain selected now, showing you in the right hand side. The right hand side, you've got your digital. Your, well, it's an LED screen, or tip, perhaps even a TFT screen, one of them fancy screens. And uh, you've got rev counter in the right hand side. In the centre, it tells you what gear you're in. At the bottom, it's coolant temperature. Again, in the centre, you can have different displays. At the moment, it's got, I mean, I always like it on this, even though I know where I'm going. It, it, like here, it's just showing you we're coming up to a bend. And, and if, if you were the type of person who wanted to just like clip the apex on, on each bend, you know what's coming. Left hand side, you've got your speedo, analog around the outside, digital in the center, 
and then at the bottom your fuel gauge look at that I, I always Range Rovers. Honestly, it's uh, it's like it's like going on holiday. For me, it always reminds me of going on holiday. And you like like here, you you going up the runway and turning, waiting for the other planes to take off. And your pilot sets off up the runway, and he just sets off fairly slowly, and then all of a sudden. He just guns it, and, and you know you you shove back in your seat, and the next thing you know you're airborne, which is something we're trying to avoid in the Range Rover life. But <laughs> this suspension is fantastic. So come up here in other cars, and you can feel every little bump. Okay, another cattle grid. Right, what can, uh, what record? Hey Siri, play Barnes Courtney. To do that, you'll need to be online. Oh. Do you, do you think he uh, had enough room there? Right, we need to be online. Well, we don't need to be online because I'm going to stop. So that's how smart you are, Siri. So we're, we're out in the country again. I, I don't know why I do that. It gets me every time. Get somewhere where I can stop. But nobody's going to run into us. Just here. Looks good enough. It's in park. Handbrake. Right, everybody happy? Nobody reporting me. <laughs> Let's see, music. We got a library. Barnes Courtney, badly drawn boy, fire, that's what we want. Right, hang on, let's, let's turn it up. Sadly I can only play a couple of seconds otherwise I'll get copyrighted, um, but you'll have to take my word for it, that sounds awesome. Also, um, probably never noticed, but um, when I'd not locked it, out, that's why. When you lock the vehicle, the blind comes over. So one of the things with the pan roofs is sometimes you come back to the car and it's sunny and it's absolutely red hot in the car. But with this, the the again, I'll just pull up over here and just make sure it does it before. Stop here. So here we go. Park, stop the car, out the car, shut the door, lock it. So you come back to your car nice and cool. Come back, open the door, get in. There you go. Screen comes forward, no glare on it.
best car on the road. Switched it off, on not Your Apple CarPlay, your source, what it's playing through. I wish I had somewhere to go. I mean, it's, it's a lot of, it, it's a lot of money. Having said that, um, prices have been going up lately. Uh, we are trying not to pass everything on to the customer. We're working for even lower margins. And the suggested retail price for this, um, let's just, here we go, we'll do the hill descent. That hill descent on it's gone green there. Hill descent's come up. We'll just roll down the hill. I'll say these knock it off. You you can go off road with these. It's massive clearance. Way through. Very high water. Higher than you'd want to go through to be honest. But it'll do it. It'll do everything. And it's for the size of the vehicle, it's very economical. And you, you know, I, I always go back to electric cars. Um, what would you take if your life depended on it? If your life and your family's life depended on it, what would you take? You've got a Range Rover up your drive and you've got a Tesla or some other electric car. What would you take? You know, it's whenever, I go to Sorrento every year and every year they always say, oh, Vesuvius is, you know, it's overdue for an eruption. I, I can't say I've seen many electric cars around Sorrento would you have one? What would you jump in? I know I'd jump in. And it wouldn't be an electric car either. If I needed to keep warm, I'd set one on fire. <laughs> there we go. Ah, gentlemen. two wheels in the river. There we go, certain death corner two and certain death humpback bridge. He looked like he was uh, going fairly fast. Ah, right, so vehicle, stop, start off.
Must be something going on today. Oh, four wheel drives. I would imagine there's, uh, oh, that's a strange color Range Rover. It's one of those liquid crystal paint things. Change color in the direction you're looking at them. Uh, no, uh, no burger van today, sadly. What, what else is there? I showed you the half folding door mirrors on there. This is like brand new. Crikey, has, any, has anybody ever seen Jewel? <laughs> I, th I think he's behind me. I'm going, I'm going faster than I want to go, really. And he's in the he's in the lorry. <laughs> Must remember not to stop and make a go in a phone box. Lovely car. In the in the end of the indicator stalk there, if you click that, it tells you how you've been driving. All green bars for braking, acceleration, speed. And then the, the next one, date, trip counter, average miles per hour, average miles per gallon. instantaneous miles per gallon and how far you've got to empty so anyway I'll, I'll finish the test drive there cars mint it drives absolutely beautiful you will not get a better driving car than this thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video